How's it going, Reef Keepers? Just making a quick video about the JBow SCP-90M. Uh, it is a gyre style pump that can be placed in the tank to create gyre flow. Comes with a small control box, typical for JBow, um, not the highest quality. I believe that this unit was maybe 85 or $90 when it was purchased possibly a little less, um, just ballparking. But uh, it's on a reef tank that I've set up for a local school that I'm maintaining in my area. And uh, obviously the tank is, you know, very nascent, <laughs> just got it rolling. Um, they seem thrilled with it. But I stirred up the sand bed and uh, because there's more budget equipment on this tank, I thought to myself, well, you know, the cost of gyres is ridiculous if you go, you know, name brand from Bulk Reef Supply. And so I figured I would show some of the gyre style flow, if you can see it, from this J-Bow unit. So I'm going to get up close so that you can see, with all the detritus in the water that I just stirred out of the sand bed, what some of this flow looks like. I'll step back a little bit. Yeah, it's pretty tough to see even back here. But the flow, basically, the initial thrust of it, goes out to about the middle of the tank. And then you get sort of varying angles of backflow, and the flow slows down over in this part of the tank. But as you can see, you know, they've got this little bit of green star polyp here. It's closed up because I've stirred the tank up so much, it's not happy. But still moving, right? Still definitely moving. Um, I've got a little frag of SPS in here that's surviving um, and it's right in the most turbulent zone of it. Uh, the most turbulent zone being where the initial thrust of this kind of dies out and then water that's circulating back around comes and, and hits that initial thrust and creates, you know, a pretty intense zone of movement right there in the middle. So this one SCP-90M by Jabal is keeping plenty of flow moving throughout this entire tank. Um, the settings on Jabao are not fantastic. I've got it turned up all the way as far as intensity goes. And you can see that I have it set to else mode, which from all I can tell is uh, Jabao's way of saying random because it does seem to create some randomness. I won't say that it's you know, as random as like an AI Nero or like the reef crest setting on an Ecotech Bortech. Um, I don't think it has that kind of brain power behind it when it's generating a quote unquote random flow. But I will see this thing, you know, push hard, thrust out into the tank, and then it'll cut back and do, you know, kind of a few smaller spurts and then go back to pushing real strong. Um, you can see here it just died a little bit and now it's doing some short spurts. So it's not, it's not pronounced, right? I mean, you can see the randomness when you look real close when the tank water stirred up like this. Um, but I think random is what most of us would run it on because we want that reef-like crashing wave, random wave motion. And uh, honestly, it gets the job done, especially if you're not looking to do anything crazy, which this small school, is not looking to do anything crazy. This is a, a very standard, typical tank. Um, just basics on this thing, no bells and whistles, no frills, budget equipment. So if you guys you know like this tank and you wanna see it more um, appear on the channel, please let me know in the comments. And uh, please like and subscribe if you wanna follow. But uh, Jabao SCP-90M, seal of approval for me, especially for budget reef keeping. All right, thanks guys.